welcome back. Let's talk about Bangalore, Hyderabad and Chennai now. Uh, to Bangalore first. If you're planning on buying a plot in the city and if, if you think the BMRDA approved tag is a certificate of quality, then think again. The BMRD, that is the Bangalore Metropolitan Region Development Authority, now says that they do not approve any layouts at all. What's going on there? Our Bangalore correspondent Lakshmi Sividas reports. Buying a house is not an easy task. Apart from settling on a place, you also need to ensure that all permissions are in place. In Bangalore at least, that process was a whole lot easier thanks to the BMRD approved logo, but not anymore. In uh, advertisements, what we have seen is, we have seen that uh, some of the apartments, group housing projects and then layouts, they have been advertising that um, we have approved. That means BMRD has approved it. We have not approved any of those things. These are some of the thousands of advertisements being given in newspapers by developers. While all of them claim to be BMRDA approved, the town planning officials deny this. They say that they do not approve layouts and that it is the various regional planning authorities who approve them. So what do developers gain out of the BMRDA tag? BMRDA approved tag basically gives you a, a label to say that it's uh, legitimate and it's clear and it's uh... Uh, well, uh, it, it gives you the certification that it's clear and marketable title. Allocate more sites at uh, realistic prices so that people can afford homes, people can live in them, and people don't have the sort of domicles hanging over their head that when is it going to be demolished, is it illegal, is it not illegal. So if the government allots sites, then it's 100% legitimate and legal. Officials say that the developers have been giving the BMRDA tag to layouts in their regions for over 10 years now. The BMRDA has also issued advertisements in newspapers to warn the public of the issue. And now, they have also resorted to issuing notices to airing developers themselves, threatening penalties. BMRDA is not doing anything. So basically, it's a policy-making and coordination agency. We are not approving any of these projects. Since we have not, I mean, approved any projects, they should not, ever, nobody has every right, I mean, any right to use the organization, our organization, without any reason, if they are using our name, we will take action as per law. If you are in Anakal, Hosakote, Kanatpura, or any of the six regions mentioned by the BMRDA, make sure your layouts have the stamp of approval from the regional planning authorities. The BMRDA, on its part, has already flagged over 400 layouts with a false BMRDA tag. In Bangalore, Lakshmi Shivdas, NDTV. All right, uh, next we have an email by Chandu. He writes, I'm planning to buy a flat in North Bangalore near Manyata Tech Park. And one of my friends suggested that Vasati Avante is a good bet to buy. Please let me know at the earliest. My budget is 55 to 60 lakhs for a 3 BHK. Okay, North Bangalore near Manyata Tech Park, uh, close to Thani Sandra. Yes, uh, always a good move to buy there uh, because of the employment generation activities that are happening there at uh, the highest level possible mm. in Bangalore now. So I would say that uh, Vasti Avante is also a very good project. It's appreciated since launch by about 16% on an annualized basis. So that's pretty good appreciation for this project. Uh, it's spread over five odd acres and houses all the modern amenities and facilities. The international airport is also easily accessible and can be reached in 25 minutes max because the place is very well connected to pub by public transport and good infrastructure. It is just 15 minutes to reach the city centre as well. So from our side, it's a go ahead. Uh, if you were to look at the key data points of this area, inventory over hang is safe, it's at 21 months. The weighted average price of the market is 4600. This is at a lower price than the weighted average price is 4300 rupees a square foot. We've got two more recommendations lined up for you below the weighted average price of the market. So those are two options that you can also consider. There is Nakshatra Celestia by Nakshatra Upscale. This is in Thani Sandra. This project is just located off Thani Sandra main road and is close to the Maneta Tech Park. It is just uh, reputed hospitals like Columbia Asia, Kaveri Medical Center just minutes away. All the ground floor with exclusive, pri all the ground floors are with pri private gardens and no common walls are there between the apartments. That's the USP of this project. And it is only just 73 odd units uh, and G plus four storied. The other one is Footprints. This is in Thani Sandra again. This is Galaxy Developers. It's also located off Thani Sandra, close proximity to the IT industry and it's very well designed to allow maximum light and ventilation and at the same time ensuring breathtaking views for all types of 
apartments. Uh, it also boasts of a clubhouse comprising of uh, world-class amenities and expansive landscape lawn. This has got a slightly bigger project. This is about 182 built apartments uh, on ground plus 12 blocks and the land area is, although small, is two acres only, but it consists of only one and two BHK apartments. Okay, so Chandu, uh, Thani Sandra is a good market, it's a preferred market for you to buy into. Employment is a given because of uh, this market's proximity to office spaces, commercial establishments and uh, it's also very well developed in the livability factor. You can take a look at the projects that are coming on your screen, you can go buy them, buy into them. Okay, next uh, Suchitra joins us on the show. Hi Suchitra, what's your question? Hello, um, I, I wish to buy a plot of land being sold by Hiraranda Hira Group at Shankara Pali. Okay. The uh, plot size is 1650 at the rate of 650 per square feet. Alright, okay. So, uh, and so I want to know if one, I want to know if uh, is Shankara Pali developed or is it going to be developing in two to three years time? And it's for investing. Okay. Looking to buy a plot in uh, Shankarapalli, Hyderabad. Good location to buy into, good developer. It's about 20 kilometers from Gachibauli. The price points are just mouth-watering. Uh, at this price point, 650 rupees a square foot, you're getting a plotted development because it's far away. So it has a lot of potential to do well. It has done exceedingly well in the past because of the low base price. The price appreciation trends have depicted 54% price appreciation in Hyderabad, which is unreal because of the low base effect and the prices have gone up by about 173 rupees a square foot which on a per square foot basis if you look at it is not that much but on a percentage basis is is a lot mm -hmm. 173 rupees in a you don't even get to know it's in the extra charges in <laughs> cities like mumbai and uh, EDC, EDC, uh, you know for. ncr region uh, inventory overhang is limited supply is limited uh, 2200 units uh, the price appreciation is done very well on the charts. Uh, if you look at the uh, project, the project is uh, an HMDA uh, approved project. Uh, it's so developing over 65 acres of land parcel with three phases and it will have plots, apartments and villas. As, as of right now, phase one is approved and 182 plots are going to be constructed as part of the phase one with basic amenities. How will it will take about 10 to 12 months for the plots to be ready at a status uh, as the state is, is in initial stages right now. Uh, if you were to look at two more projects that we've shortlisted, uh, they are also worth considering, although they are slightly more expensive. You have Gachibali County at Green City Estates. This is the 811 rupees per square foot, but this is also 110 acre township being developed over six phases, with the seventh phase about to be launched shortly. It's located in Mokila, about 23 kilometers from Gachibali. The second recommendation is Sandstone Paradise by Sandstone Infra. This is 778 rupees a square foot. This project is also HMDA approved. Uh, it has about 300 plots with 60 to 70 units directly available with the developer right now. It's being developed over two phases. Almost about 30 to 40 percent of the layout work is completed and the winning work would take about six months further. These are the two more recommendations in addition to what she shortlisted already and that's a go ahead from our side. Alright, so Suchitra, so, so Shankarapalli, uh, 20 kilometers from Gachibauli, the established IT market of Hyderabad and this area is in the spotlight for its villa based and plotted projects because the rate here is still very low and uh, we're recommending you two projects in Mokila, Shankarapalli. There's Gachibauli County by Green City Estates and Sandstone Paradise by Sandstone Infra. Next, uh, Nandini Shrikan joins us on the show. Hi Nandini, how can we help you? Uh, hi, good evening. Um, I am calling from Navi, Mumbai. Okay. I, I want to purchase an uh, apartment in Chennai. I have shortly, shortlisted one uh, uh, compounded uh, uh, city like Metro Zone in Ananagar. Okay. Um, I want to know whether the reputation, there is some uh, litigation going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know whether uh, I can uh, it's a good buy, uh, buy uh, okay. yeah, I can uh, invest in that property right. so Chennai... for end use, for our end use. Okay, so Nandini is looking at Ananagar uh, Metro Zone, a property in Ananagar, Chennai. Uh, should she go ahead? 
see the thing is that uh, from our side the project is being developed by ozone group being partnered by hdfc real estate fund and urban infrastructure so they're both very good funds uh, that are partnering with uh, ozone so i don't think there should be too many issues with the project it's a large project with 1500 residential units and 26 towers and about 1.5 million square feet of commercial complex also including a mall multiplex an office space spreading across 42 acres of land mm -hmm. in Ananagar, Chennai. Uh, this project, although is a little higher from a price point, so I don't know, her budget is 1 to 1.2 crores. What we know is that the price is 10,300 to 11,000 rupees a square foot and the minimum 3 BHK size is 1555 square foot. So it becomes much more costly compared to the budget. So that's why we've got two more recommendations that she may want to consider and we are going to take her to Mogapair which is a nearby location and equally good Ananagar I know is the heart of, of the micro market uh, of the Chennai area and is very self-sufficient and uh, prime residential locality Mogapair although is not at par but that's why the price points are much more affordable as well uh, but if you were to look at the projects Arihant Ista by Arihant Foundations this project is actually getting ready in 2015 available with the developer it's more affordable it's 8500 rupees a square foot and the price points are uh, in line with what you're looking at the other one is Tivoli uh, by Landmark this is also in Mogapair this is even cheaper at 7500 rupees a square foot this is situated at Justice Radhanwell Panadian Road Mogapair uh, 88 apartments all together in this project uh, it has all the basic amenities and uh, I think this project is also a good one available directly with the developer and much more affordable. Okay, so Nandini, uh, Metro Zone, that project uh, you're looking at in Ananagar uh, is slightly out of your budget. So we're recommending Mogapair as a second location for you to look at. Properties here are about 2000 rupees uh, lower than uh, Ananagar. Look at uh, projects like Arihant Ista by Arihant Foundation and Tivoli by Landmark. All right, uh, time for a quick break, uh, but on the other side, uh, look at prime property options in Noida for 1 crore.